What is happening, Deep Blankers? My name is Dion, and you're watching Dion D Sims 4! We're gonna go through the entire process of building our character right on up to actually doing something. I don't know exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna do something! Live our life as a Sim! First name is gonna be Dion, last name is gonna be D Blank. I'm so original with my titles, my names. And I'm gonna be an adult, a young adult, because, you know, I'm a young adult, although I don't really like the way that he looks right now. That's nothing reflective of what I actually look like, so how do I actually change this? And my default walk is gonna be- oh my gosh, no way. A bouncy walk, a sluggish walk, a goofy walk, a tough walk, a feminine walk, a swagger walk. Oh my gosh, swagger walk. <laughs> Oh yeah, damn straight, it's gonna be the swagger walk. Oh, this is how you change stuff. So what kind of a face do I have? Guys, what does my face look like? I can't see my own face. Oh my gosh, fish lips. I've had some artificial injections into my lips. They look so good. No, 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 no. I think my lips look something along the lines of... God. <laughs> this is harder than I thought. I think my lips look like that. No way! It is, that is way too trouty pouty. I am not going with that. Oh my gosh, I can wear makeup. No, that'd be too make me look too fabulous, wouldn't it? Oh man, if only I could grow a beard like that in real life. I'll go for this anyway. <laughs> no way! I can get Dumbo ears. No, 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 we can't do that. Just normal ears, please. And now for my chin. I've got a tiny little bit of a bump here, it's not a huge bump, like I don't have a butt chin going on. My eyes aren't freaking like mutant green, they're like soft green. Please? Yeah, I'll go for this one. This one looks like a douchebag sort of tattoo. I mean, a lot of big gym guys have these ones. Here we go, the blankers. I made all of my outfits. This is what I look in my casual everyday clothes. It's just nothing, you know, too fancy. It's pretty simple, it's just what I wear if I went outside. And I've got also my formal wear, this is if I'm gonna go to any parties or I have to look, you know, suited and booted, look actually proper. This is my athletic, because in real life I actually do wear short, not short shorts like that short, but maybe a bit lower than that. I do wear re relatively shorter shorts when I go to the gym, and I also love wearing some sort of athletic vest and shoes, of course. Yeah, this is all that I wear to sleep, including my bunny slippers! I don't have bunny slippers in real life, but this has given me an idea that I need to get some bunny slippers. My party wear? Ah, uh, it just looks very formal. I just wanted to get this thing because it makes me look like a dickhead. DICKHEAD! I think we should go for the quest of knowledge. The quest to actually acquire something that will be of significance. So we're gonna go for knowledge, and we're gonna go for nerd brain res renaissance sim. Or computer ways. From playing games to careers. Oh my gosh, yes. That is amaze balls. That's exactly what I do right now. Hates children. Yes, loner. Oh my gosh. I'm outgoing. I'll put it like that. I'll say that I'm a goofball. I'll take away the genius, because you know I'm not that much of a genius to be fair. But I am a bit of a geek, so I think I'll go for those. Your sim needs a place to live in the world. We'll show you several perfect homes in Willow Creek or Oasis Springs. That's amazing! I can choose two places. The home you choose offers you unique neighbors and activities, but don't worry. You can always visit or move to any of the worlds in The Sims 4. That's amazing. I'm gonna go to Willow Creek. I just like the greenness more of this place. So where am I gonna build- oh, you cannot afford a lot? What? Hallow Slough, oh my gosh, there's like a haunted house right next door. Uh, dude, I don't think I want to live there. Bargain Homes, Streamlit Single, oh my gosh, yes, I need to buy one of these small houses. This is going to be one of my s starter homes. I'm going to go for Crick Cabana, it's the smallest one, it has two beds, and it's the cheapest one. It's not as big as the other ones, the lot size anyway. Oh shit, so maybe I should go for the other ones if they have a bigger lot. Yeah, I'm going to have to go for Daisy Hovel, at least I've got more work. Or space to work with in the future. Unfurnished or furnished? What do you guys think? Uh uh. Gosh damn, they might give me some really crappy stuff. You know what? I'm gonna make it unfurnished. I'm gonna buy my own stuff. So here I am. I've just moved in and this is my brand new home. Take a look at it. It's got absolutely nothing inside, so we're gonna have to actually populate it, methinks. 
with some furniture, but how much money do I have to work with? 9,000 simoleons, that doesn't sound like a whole lot. So this is my patio, I'm not gonna put anything on it in the meantime, but that is my living room that I'm gonna walk straight on into. It'd be nice to have like a rug or something when I walk straight on in, but I'm gonna put down the bare essentials first. So I need to go change the room type, please. I need to start out simple, I can't, I can't be too rash, I can't just jump on into things and just think, oh, I can afford literally everything. It doesn't quite work like that, I'm gonna go for this mega sofa. So this is the bathroom in the top right, the kitchen is in the middle, and the bedroom is here in the top left. What an interesting design of a place. Alright, so I think I'm actually gonna put the TV over on the wall facing towards the kitchen. That would be really nice. So let me go get my TV. And which one am I gonna get? Wow, a penguin TV. That seems amazeballs. But I think I'm gonna have to get some sort of like TV stand if I'm gonna put said TV on it. And oh my gosh, these are so expensive. How am I gonna afford these? Okay, right. I will pay money for... A decent TV. I don't want to splash out. Oh my gosh. Think about it, Dion. You could get some amazing widescreen TV. Okay, I can't afford it right now. 1,500 simoleons for a TV is enough. I'm not gonna go splash out like absolutely crazy. Alright, so now I can actually get a sofa here. Okay, so I have my sofa, I have my TV stand, I have my actual TV, which is absolutely so small, it's tiny. I don't think I'm gonna even be able to see it from that distance. What am I going to put next to all of these things? Well, I don't know. I haven't really thought about that. Uh, I definitely am going to need other things, though, in the other room. So let's go on over to the bedroom. I'll get down a simple bed. It has to be a double bed. There is no way that I can survive with just a simple one single bed. No way. No freaking way. I don't think I'm going to put anything else in the bedroom because I don't really know what else I'm going to need. I know I can get all these dressers and whatnot, but we'll go along with it and see if I actually need it once we get to around to it. So in the kitchen... Okay, well I'm going to need a fridge. Wow! I can't even afford that. That's 14,000? Holy bejeebals! That's amazing. I want to splash out on this expensive fridge, but I don't think it's going to be worth it. Cooking skill. I don't want the brown fridge. That look just looks disgusting. So I think I'm going to go for... Actually, I'm going to go for the counters first, because I need counters if I'm going to do anything. And then I'll stick the fridge in over here. Now where else am I supposed to put everything? I can get the sink. Alright, so I'm going to put the Cooking U Pro over here. And I think I'm going to need a hood. Yeah, I'm gonna need a hood. I need to suck up all of my messes that I'm probably gonna make in the future. Time for the bathroom. What do I need? I can go for a shower. Oh man, I gotta stay clean in this game now. Damn it. This game knows my weaknesses in real life. Okay, so I think I'll probably put the shower in this corner over here so there can't be like any peeping toms looking at me through the window. Because that might happen. You never know. I'm gonna need a sink. And I think this pedestal sink looks quite nice. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. We'll go with that. I'm gonna need a John, a giant crapper. Oh, come on, these are too small for me. I need a big one. Yeah, a raw toilet. That seems pretty damn cool. Where can I stick that? Over here in this corner? What do you guys think? Looks nice for a John. Then I can't actually see it because it's hiding behind the counter. No, what have I done? Look how high I put the toilet roll. <laughs> Oh man, that would be so inconvenient if you were on the actual crapper and then you had to reach all the way up there. That would be terrible. And there we go. That looks nice. It's, it just feels like home. We didn't get all the pre-purchased furniture, but that's good. Because now we can actually just make it our own. Put a bit of our own personality into it. Alright, I want to go live my life. I want to see what this is all about. Your sim is inspired and wants to cook. Alright, fine. We'll go cook. That'll be the first thing I'm going to do. I'm gonna go cook up something, I don't really know what I'm gonna do. Oh! Ah, I put money into the fridge! And I get to make something. A garden salad, a grilled- no, grilled cheese. A full serving, please. Family size? What? You can make like a family size grilled cheese? And all for ourselves as well? That'd be amazeballs, imagine how much we would actually eat, it'd be crazy. Okay. Cook, Dion, cook. How are you going to make this? Oh, very good. Your sim has gained the cooking skill. There are many other skills to master as well. That's amazing. But will he be good? Uh-oh. What is wrong with your teeth and that chicken? I think that's kind of burning. Don't put it right onto the table. Oh, okay. I thought I was going to put the hot pan right onto the table. I was waiting to say. Wow. Excellent quality. How amazing are we? 
Uh, all right, I'm, I'll eat it. I mean, I didn't think we were gonna make it that great. I thought if I just started, I'd be really crap. And I would make a horrible grilled cheese, but hey, I'm good at making sandwiches. You enjoying that, Dion? It looks pretty yummy. You want to share some of that with me? The real Dion? No? Oh, you want to watch TV as well? What's on TV? Oh my gosh, it's like ER. What is going on? Look at that man. He's being... He's being... Oh! Probed? Oh my gosh. What kind of... What kind of sickness is going on? Hey, what are you doing to me, doctor? What is this that's going on in my head? Oh, what are you doing to me? Oh, whoa, whoa! I can see things! Doctor? What kind of examination do you call this? Hey! Okay, let's party! I'm alive! Oh! Your husband has cancer. So make out with me, baby. Okay, Dion, type- No, Dion, don't be lazy like you are in real life. Put the plate back straight away in the kitchen and clean out, please. Don't be like me. And there we go, D-Blankers. We just made our own first grilled cheese and we also cleaned it up. And now I'm going straight for the TV. You know what? I'm a computer geek, but I don't have a computer. That's going to be a problem. We need to change that pretty damn soon. And we're going to do that in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I plan on doing a series out of The Sims 4. But until the next one, you know exactly what to do. Suggest me some ideas of what we should do, what kind of jobs, what I should buy next. Any sort of suggestions is absolutely awesome. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. Until the next one, you know exactly what to do. Grab your Sim! I mean Power Fist. And smash that like button. But until the next video, this is Dion. And I will catch you next time. But hey, Dion, guess what? You've got no work tomorrow! LOUD NOISES! You can do literally whatever the hell you want!